What's up everyone, Darblade here with a news opinion video on the PlayStation VR. Yesterday Sony announced both the month of release and the price of the PS VR during a private GDC session. They also revealed a whole host of information about the device including specs and upcoming games. Sony announced that the PlayStation VR will be launching late October 2016. The headset previously known as Project Morpheus will retail at $399 in the US, £349 in the UK, €399 Euros in Europe, £44,980 yen in Japan and £550 Australian dollars in Australia. This means that the headset will be the cheaper option when compared to the $600 Oculus Rift and the $800 HTC Vive headsets. However, it is not as powerful as the specs were also revealed. I will leave a link down in the description below regarding the specs if you're interested in those fine details. Now, whereas the price may be cheaper, there are a few hidden fees, so to speak, as the PS VR requires additional devices to operate, namely the PS or PlayStation camera. This can add another potential $60 or whatever the price of the device is in your country on top of that initial fee for the headset. Luckily though, the PSVR supports standard DualShock 4 controllers, so you are not required to purchase the PlayStation Move buttons. Although we were told that some games will support the buttons, so if you have them already, then that's an option. Now there are bound to be concerns over the new VR devices and I'm sure there will be teething problems with them across the board no matter what platform you're playing on. I fear that VR could become a novelty but if it is indeed the next step in gaming then the PlayStation VR definitely is more consumer friendly than its competitors that need very high end PCs on top of the headset price to operate correctly. I'm still cautious about being sucked onto the VR hype train at the moment, but if you're hoping to get a PlayStation VR headset, then you best act fast as stores are quickly running low on stock. So what do you think of the PlayStation VR and VR in general? Leave a comment down below as I'd love to hear your opinions. Personally, I'm hoping that the VR headsets will still be able to record footage either for YouTube or for streaming, but I guess we'll find that out later down the line. Anyway, I've been Dartblade, bringing you a news information video about the PlayStation VR. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more.